We've got a clinical case, my beloveds. 32-year-old woman present with an ability to conceive for 18 months despite regular unprotected intercourse. 32-year-old lady. 18 months of uh, unprotected intercourse. Her menstrual cycles are regular every 28 days with normal flow. She has no history of pelvic infections or surgeries, so everything's great. Her partner has no known medical problems. On examination, she's healthy, BMI 22, and pelvic exam is unremarkable. Which of the following is the most appropriate next step in the evaluation? Actually, good question. Give me options. Semen analysis of the partner, absolutely correct. What, what else? Uh, laparoscopy to rule out endometriosis. We've got no pattern of endometriosis. Next, measurement of serum prolactin. What for? And hysterosalpingography, HSG. No, correct answer, of course, semen analysis. Uh, yes, correct answer is this. So, male factor infertility, now, my beloved, accounts for 40-50% of cases. So, in my young period, it was around 1-2. Now, 40-50%. In the simplest and least invasive, it's the, it is the uh, simplest and, uh, and least invasive test that should be performed early in the evaluation. Now about laparoscopy, to rule out incorrect, invasive, not first step, indicated only after more basic non-invasive tests suggest a cause. Actually, we start with ultrasonography. No, I, I, no, laparoscopy is not correct. Measurement of serum prolactin is not also incorrect. This is relevant in women with irregular cycles or suspecting devaluation. This patient has regular ovular cycles, normal periods. It's not a case at all. And HSG, the, uh, the, i.e. hysterosalpingo, hysterosalpingography, useful for assessing tubal patency but only after semen analysis is done to rule out male uh, factor infertility. Good question, actually. Get it? Good. Stay blessed.